hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we're going to be going over our weekly dinner menu along with the grocery haul for that week and the first thing that we like to do is we sit down as a family and decide what we want to eat we pick our favorite meals um, each person gets to pick something and then we collectively pick something so if you're interested in that please stay tuned so we've already decided what we want so i go ahead and write out the menu and for monday we're having um, a salmon salad with a vinaigrette dressing we wanted to do something light we don't always go for heavy meals which we have a few light ones um, throughout but and also while we're making the menu we see like what ingredients we already have so that way we're not just buying new things every single week for Tuesday, we are doing cheeseburgers with eggs and chips. Now the chips, that's pretty much like the majority of rules. So um, this time I believe we got salt and vinegar. That's what my daughter and my husband likes. Wednesday, we're going to do burritos and they're going to be steak burritos with black beans, cilantro rice. Um... And no sides because the burritos are pretty heavy themselves, especially with it being a steak burrito. And then for Thursday, we're going to do mashed potato bowls. And that pretty much consists of chicken, corn, gravy, cheese, and of course mashed potatoes as the base. They have these at like KFC. Um, we really like them. I don't know if KFC still has them, but they're easy to make and everyone loves them in our family. And then for Friday, we wanted to do something else light, and we wanted a uh, meatless meal, so we went on ahead and did tomato soup with grilled cheese. It's been pretty like gloomy and cold out, so this really hit the spot for us. For Saturday, we are doing chicken quesadillas with uh, Spanish rice. And for the girls, I usually don't put the chicken in their quesadillas. I just make plain cheese ones and then they have the rice for a side also. And then Sunday, we're going to go heavy and do barbecue chicken with mac and cheese and uh, sweet potatoes. And now once I'm done writing out the list um, of the meals, I go ahead on the other side and I'll start to do the grocery list for this. And also, I look in the fridge to see like what we already have, what we need more of, so that way I'm not buying extra and I'm just using up what we have. And we don't do this every week. I really, really try to because it's just super helpful when you know what meat you need to take out, what you're already having, everyone agrees on it. You plan the day, especially if you know what your week is looking like ahead of time. Um, you know what days you have to cook, what days you have time to make, which meals that takes longer, which meals can be made quickly on busy days. So it's just super, super helpful. But sometimes we fall behind and lists don't get made. So we're just scrambling around. And that's usually when we go for fast food. And then afterwards we regret it. But and then with this, it's fun too, because we're only a family of four. And even being a family of four, one is one years old so um she doesn't take up a large part of what we eat but i try to keep our grocery budget around 50 dollars a week which has been pretty easy for me to do and then when i need to restock things that's when i'll um i'll open up the budget and spend more to get the things that we need But yeah, this just makes it really easy to not buy excess items. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the grocery list, but I will let you guys know now. I am a huge Walmart shopper. Um, I like great value brands, so that's what most of my things will be. If I go to it and I need it and I see the Walmart brand isn't the quality that I like, then I will go to whichever one is best. But usually 9 times out of 10... The Walmart brand works just fine for us. Even as far as taste goes, that's fine also because I do know how to cook, so I can always um, make it to my liking and my family's liking. So right now I'm done, and now I'm going to head to the grocery store. 
So the side with the grocery list, I take that with me. The other side with the menu, I hang that up on the fridge so everyone can be aware of what the menu is and we have something to look forward to. So as you guys can see in the pictures, um, this is everything that we got. And this is also I have to go to Aldi's because I couldn't find everything at Walmart. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here, you see, I got cereal. We didn't have um, any left, so I went on ahead and grabbed one box. I keep it to one or two, only because if we have more than two options, it usually kind of goes to waste. I got the wheat bread because we're going to do the grilled cheese, and I wanted a thicker, heavier bread for that so it can feel like a meal and not like a snack. I got the buns for the cheeseburgers. Um... I think it's like brioche buns. My husband um, likes those. Underneath it, I have the great value large tortillas, flour tortillas. And we also have the French bread, which was not on the menu. And I completely forgot to mention that. Yeah, um, I didn't put on the menu, but that day we were having po' boys. So the French bread is for the po' boy sandwiches. And then you see the sweet potatoes. I got um, like a garden mix salad, the salt and vinegar chips. And then I have the sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, um, tomatoes. Then I like to keep fresh lemon and lime. I have the burger patties. And then underneath that, I have the steak for the burritos. I also have the chicken breast and then drumsticks underneath and on the other side um, of the cabinet you're gonna see I got chicken strips for the mashed potato bowls and then I got some like chicken fries from Aldi's because they looked good especially for like my daughter they're gonna be easy for her to eat cilantro and then I got some breaded shrimp for the po' boys um, I do like to sometimes make it easier on me make things the lazy way only because I do doctor it up very well and I don't have any complaints about that although I can make it from scratch sometimes it's just easier not to but going back um, you'll see I got coffee creamer the um, balsamic vinaigrette dressing for the salmon salads my daughter requested some crunchy peanut butter so I went ahead and picked that up for her I got sliced cheese, some corn, black beans, and even the tomato soup. I got Great Value brand because I can add more flavor to that. And then I got the gravy mix for the bowls underneath. So honestly, I'm not sure what um, the total came up to for this. I think it might have been like $70, but that's only because I uh, did add a few more items that weren't on the list but usually when I stick to the list I come out almost exactly on $50 on the dot and then whatever we have left over we do for lunch the next day but we don't do leftovers past a day or two because they end up just going to waste and cluttering the fridge but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful um, I will be doing more of these in the future because they are pretty fun and then it you get to keep track of what you've been eating well, about what you've been eating so that way you're not eating the same thing like over and over and then it gets boring so thanks for watching guys bye